So all the participants, Hare Krishna. Today is the fifth day, and also uh, it's the last day of for the chariots of devotion 2024. And uh, I hope it went well uh, for the last four days. And we also hope that the next one hour will be really important for our chariots of devotion. So today uh, we have Mahatma Priya Prabhu with us. Is Prabhuji joined? Yes, Prabhu, I have joined it. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Dandavat Pranam. Please accept my humble obeisances. Hare Krishna. Is my voice audible? Yes, Prabhu, you are completely audible. Okay. So, Prabhuji, uh, we have all the participants uh, who are students from our coaching institute and their parents have joined us today. Uh, they have been doing the classes for last four days and today is the last day of this class. So, participants, uh, before we start, I would like to give a small introduction about Prabhuji. So, as I uh, said earlier, that today we are connected to uh, Mahatma Piyu Prabhu with us. Mahatma Piyu Prabhu was uh, born in Bangalore, Karnataka, and he comes from a military background where his father uh, served to the nation for 20 years and uh, Prabhuji himself has completed his diploma and MBA and after that he initially worked in Microsoft and before joining uh, ISKCON he worked for 11 years. Uh, basically Prabhuji has been practicing Krishna consciousness since 1998 but later in 2011 he joined ISKCON Pune as a full-time uh, complete brahmachari so prabhuji is very much inspired from shripad aindra prabhu we, to whom we also regard as the kirtan emperor and uh, being inspired from him prabhuji took the initiative taking the 24 hours kirtan during ekadasis and he does it in every ekadasi so but preaching, uh, he saw many students and uh, many people in general with uh, his initiative called GIST, G Y S T, which stands for Gita Youth Society for Transformation. And currently, Prabhudi is traveling and preaching throughout the nation, but mostly in Chhattisgarh, where at Bilaspur, Janjgir Nal, where he serves as the core committee leader. And today, uh, we are honored that Prabhuji has joined us to give his valuable inputs in our life. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Uh, now we can start. Hare Krishna. So thank you so much for giving me this uh, an opportunity. Uh, before we uh, go ahead and uh, start this uh, session, uh, I'd like to uh, invoke these prayers and then we'll uh, dive deep into this today's session. Nilachal Nivasaya, Nityam Paramatmane, Balapadra Padrabhyam, Jaganatai Te Namaha. Nama Om Vishnubadaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale, Srimathi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Itinamini. Namaste Saraswati Devi, Gauravani Pracharini, Nirvishesha Shunyavadi, Paschati Satarini. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadhadara, Shri Vasadi, Gauravakta Vrinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, I would like to thank uh, the whole uh, uh, team for organizing such a, a wonderful uh, session where people can uh, know about uh, Jagannath and also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So now we are in the verge of, uh, you know, celebrating a uh, Jagannath Yatra. So I thought this is a good opportunity for all of us. So please uh, uh, pay your full attention on this class and uh, hope you will drive away a lot of uh, colorful pastimes of Lord Jagannath. Hare Krishna. So we all know that uh, you know the today's topic is on Lord Jagannath and uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So since you're all from uh, Orissa, you know I'm sure uh, uh, Raukela is very close to Orissa. So you all be uh, 
very happy and uh, you have been also you also been visited uh, Jagannath Puri. So keeping this in mind, I will start today's class. Hare Krishna. So we know that the uh, Lord comes in uh, different forms. Sometimes even he comes in an uh, animal form, like you know we can see Matsya Avatar, Varaha Avatar, Kurma Avatar. Sometimes even he comes in the form of a human, like we see Lord Rama, Lord Krishna. Uh, sometimes uh, he comes as a, a devotee, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is Krishna himself. Right? And uh, the question here is that, how come Lord Jagannath is coming in the form of a deity, a Vigraha? So now we may all have a question uh, that, uh, will uh, Jagannath also have such a sweet uh, pastimes because he's coming in a form of a Vigraha? Right? Because if you see, uh, Lord Rama, you know, he has so many wonderful pastimes. If you see Lord Krishna, there were so many sweet, sweet pastimes like uh, Ashoda, Damodar, you know, gopis. But now the question comes, uh, uh, does even Vigraha, the deity of Jagannath, also has such pastimes? I would say yes, indeed. There are so many, so many uh, sweet pastimes. Actually, Lord comes uh, when devotees call. Just like, uh, I hope, uh, uh, is my voice audible to everyone? If it's say yes, just say Jai Jagannath. Is my voice audible? Okay, good. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hari Bol. Yeah, so Lord comes when devotees call. Just like uh, we see uh, Lord Narsimadev also came. Now, Lord Narsimadev came not just to kill Hiranakashipu. He came because there was a call by his pure devotee, Prahlad Maharaj, right? And we can also see Lord Krishna, when he came, he came due to the devotee's prayers, especially we can see the tapasya, the austerity done by Vrishni and Suthapa for so many years. And even Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself, even he came because of the fervent call of Advaita Acharya, with Acharya is a combination of uh, Lord Shiva and Vishnu, right? And we can also see uh, Jagannath. Today's topic is Jagannath. So Lord Jagannath also comes because of a call of four people, okay? So remember this. Jagannath comes because of four people. Who are they? One is Narada Muni, one is Brahmaji, one is uh, Parvati Devi, who is Durga, and one is Indra Duna Maharaj, all right? So let us uh, try to understand how it's possible. First of all, uh, we can see uh, why did Jagannath came because of Narada Muni, right? We know the past times how uh, the queens of Dwaraka had once approached uh, Rohini Devi and they want to know how come Krishna always remembers gopis so much in Vrindavan. Then uh, Rohini Devi you know, wanted to explain the whole past time of how Lord was living in Vrindavan. So that time they made a uh, Subhadra Maya as a Subhadra Devi, as a gatekeeper, you know. So she was been given the service to stand near the gate so that Krishna and Balram should not come. But then what happened? As Rohini Mata was telling the whole pastimes of uh, Krishna and Balram, you know, this Krishna and Balram, they entered. When they were hearing their own pastimes, they got so mesmerized. They were so happy and so ecstatic that all their limbs, it went inside. You know, and uh, that is where we can see the Mahabhava Prakash Rupa, you know, the special Leela where Lord manifests in a Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Maharani. That time, Narada Muni was just passing over and he saw the Lord in this form and he requested, Lord, please, Lord, give this person to everybody. Let everybody get this opportunity, you know, to see this. And because Narada Muni is a pure devotee of the Lord, so he fulfills his. Tathastu. And we know because of Narada Muni, you know, we can see when we go to Jagannath Puri, there's a very special, unique darshan of Lord Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Maharani and Sudarshan, you know. So that is a special about uh, Narada Muni. Now, uh, yeah, how about Brahmaji? I also said because of Brahmaji, also Lord Jagannath came, right? So uh, we all know that uh, when Brahmaji created this, you know, uh, creation, you know, uh, he also had some worry. What was that? When people take birth, you know, everybody will suffer. Why? Because, you know, we know, you know, material world, a lot of, you know, ups and downs, you know. So he was literally praying 
who Brahma ji was literally praying to uh, uh, Krishna, to Vishnu, you know, that Lord do something, you know, I don't want to see uh, people suffering like this. Then Lord comes in the dream of Brahma. He says, Brahma, do not worry, you know, I'll take care. And he said, uh, uh, there's one place in this material world which is called uh, Nilachal Dam, you know, Nilachal Mountain, Nilachal Dam, where I will be uh, manifesting in my room. So there, my form will be Neel Madhav. So here, one important thing to know, Brahmaji has 100 years of lifespan, right? So the first 50 years of his lifespan, you know, Lord will be addressed as Neel Madhav. And for the next 50 years of Brahmaji, which is currently going on, Lord will manifest as Jagannath. And anybody who takes darshan of Jagannath, you know, in this form, they will not take birth again. So just like uh, to please Brahmaji, you know, uh, Jagannath came. Now the question comes, uh, Prabhuji, you said 50 years and 50 years. How does this calculation stand? Very important. You can make a note. Life of a Brahmaji is 36,000 kalpa. Life of Brahmaji is 36,000 kalpa. And one kalpa, one kalpa is equal to 43 crore, 20 lakh years, which is one day of Brahma. And the best part is Krishna appears once in a day of a Brahma. Right? And now uh, I told even because of Parvati, Durga Maya, also Jagannath comes. So to please Mother uh, Parvati, uh, once uh, what happened, Narada Muni had a Mahaprasad of Lord Vishnu, you know. And when he honored that Mahaprasadam, he was so happy, he was dancing in ecstasy. And in that ecstasy, he reached Kailash. And now Lord Shiva asked him, how come you're so happy? You know, and he replied, I just had Mahaprasad of Lord. Then he said, how come you didn't share to me? Generally, you know, whatever we have used to share, we are good friends, right? We read together, you know, we chant together. But Narada Muni said, I'm so sorry, you know, I, I, I just uh, ate all the prasad. But look, something do you have? Then uh, luckily there was a morsel in the nails of uh, 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 Narada Muni. Then he just took that morsel, which was lying in the nail of uh, Narada Muni. He just took it and he ate that Mahaprasad. When he ate Mahaprasad, he was in complete ecstasy. He was so happy. And this was noticed by Parvati, who is the wife of uh, you know, Shiva. And she said, uh, uh, she said, uh, uh, where is Prasad for me? And Shiva said, no, no, I just got little and I just ate it. But how come you ate? You know, I'm your wife. You're supposed to share it with me. And she became really very furious. She became very, very uh, uh, angry, you know. And she got so angry that Lord Vishnu himself came down to cool down, to um, pacify her, you know. And he said, Vishnu is saying, I'll promise you, you know, you don't become so angry. I will give you my Mahaprasad. But she said uh, to Vishnu, I am uh, Parvati. Durga, mother of uh, all this creation. So I want it not just for me, for everybody, because everybody are my children. All are my, all the jivas are my children, you know. So Lord said, that has to. So we'll give to everyone. So we can see that because of Mother Parvati, anybody who goes to Jagannath Puri gets this Mahaprasad of the Lord. And we also know that uh, in uh, Jagannath Puri, you know, uh, uh, after Lord takes Prasad, you know, it first goes to uh, Parvati Devi. Uh, Parvati Devi temple is there in the uh, inner courtyard of the temple. And she has been uh, addressed as Bimla Devi, you know. Uh, Parvati is Bimla Devi. And then the Prasad goes out. So I hope uh, these three things are very important to understand. And finally, I also told about Indra Dumna Maharaj, right? Lord comes because of Indra Dumna Maharaj. Now, Indra Dumna Maharaj, you know, was a very uh, pious, uh, sweet, wonderful devotee. And he had an intense desire to take darshan of the Supreme Lord. But he wanted to know actually what is the purpose of my life, you know. And he uh, took help of all sadhus, you know, in his uh, palace. Wanted to know, I want to see the Lord, you know. And one of the sadhus informed, uh, Lord has come as a Neil Madhav, you know. 
uh, you can go and take darshan. So he went to uh, he went to a place where you know he can get the uh, darshan of Neil Madhav. But we know you know the story how Indra Dumna when he went to see the Lord, the temple was filled with the sand, you know, and the deities were not at all visible anymore. And uh, that time Narada Muni, you know, he pacifies uh, uh, Indra Dumna and uh, he does. He says, you do, you do Ashwamedha Yajna. Finally, after completing Ashwamedha Yajna, one early morning, he finds a log of wood just floating towards the she shore, you know. And uh, it is said that uh, this log of wood is the is the is one of the hair of the Lord, which Lord plucks and that which falls in the ground. And from that, uh, uh, tree, uh, from that air, the tree grows, you know. And from the tree comes this log of wood, which is manifested. All right, so that tree was floating on the seashore. So, uh, with the help of uh, Vishwavasu, now, who's Vishwavasu? He is the head. He is the king of the the tribal, you know, the tribes, the tribal community. So he accepted the log, and uh, later with the help of uh, Vishwakarma, I would say he is like a you know heavenly carpenter. I would say you know Vishwakarma. Uh, he carved a beautiful deity. Yeah. You know? And that's how Lord comes to, uh, you know, uh, comes to make uh, Indra Dhanu Maharaj happy. So we can see just for the devotee, Lord comes, he manifests, you know, in different, different forms. So Jagannath, Baladev, Subhadra, Sudarshan are such a beautiful form of Lord because of all these four personalities. Who are they? If you can just type it, I'll be very happy. Who are the four people because of whom Jagannath Ji came? Any guess? You can put in the chat. I'm, I'm looking at the chat. Uh, you can just type it in the chat. Who are the four people because of whom Jagannathji came? Okay, Naraji. Okay, fine. Okay, na one is Narada Muni. Brahmaji. In okay, fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. That means you're all uh, actively uh, hearing. You know, very good, very nice. Okay, now uh, apart from this, you know, Lord Jagannath has a, a big eyes. Uh, this means that uh, Lord doesn't want to miss any devotees. So today we are talking about Lord Jagannath, and Lord Jagannath is seeing all of us who all are attending today's class. You know, so he has a very big eyes. You know, and he has no legs because he cannot go anywhere because he stays in the hearts of the devotees. And he, and if you see his hands, is ready to hug. You know. All his devotees, and we can see. Uh, I would say uh, mm, he has uh, no eyelids. Uh, why? Because he never sleep. In fact, uh, when uh, King Indraduna Maharaj, when he built this uh, magnificent temple to the Lord, uh, after establishing the wonderful, beautiful deities in the temple, he had actually asked uh, Jagannath for three boons. So once again, you know, so Indraduna, after building this temple. He asked Lord, Lord, please give me three boons. So please make a note of this. What are the three boons? Okay. The first one he said, Lord, uh, he, he said uh, he doesn't want to have a son. Indradumna is uh, uh, is requesting Lord Jagannath, give me three boons. The first boon is that I should not have a son. Why? Because my son should not claim that this is my temple, my father's temple. He doesn't want to have any son. That's the first boon. Second boon. He said, uh, "No, you should eat, 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 so that uh, you should eat so much, so that when you finish eating, wash your hands before your hands get dried. Some more foodstuffs will be offered. So we can see in uh, Puri whole day they offer, you know, bhoga for the Lord, you know. And finally, the third boon is that, you know, very important. The third boon is that, Lord, you please don't sleep, Lord. Now, <laughs> Indrabhan Maharaj is is." Is asking a boon to Jagannath. He says, the third boon is, Lord, you don't sleep because in this material world, people are suffering. Please shower your mercy 24 bar 7. So we can see in uh, Jagannath Puri, you know, they don't close the temple gate. You know, in fact, they close only for two hours, uh, two in the midnight. And again, the temple is open, right? So even uh, the temple is closed, the Lord is still not sleeping. Why? It is said that uh, all the jivatmas, you know, like the mortal people like us, you know, we all meet in the daytime. In the nighttime, you know, the immortal peoples, I mean to say, the devatas, you know, the devatas, uh, 
uh, people from different different lokas they come and they uh, take uh, darshan of the lord and in fact uh, how do we know is this true or not that lord uh, you know meets uh, you know have appointment with all the devatas actually the proof is that uh, if you keep some prasadam in the altar and uh, every day when they open the altar the prasadam is not there definitely the jivas from other lokas the demigods they come and they worship the lord and they have a meeting also with the lord when the temple is closed so that way temple uh, that way uh, lord is not sleeping he is almost always awake all right so today uh, is a very special uh, day because we are discussing so much glories of lord jagannath in next couple of days you know we'll be having a ratha yatra so um, uh, on the day of ratha yatra we can see uh, uh, there's a huge people i think more than 15 lakhs people come to take darshan of lord jagannath now friend of the lord jagannath we can see chaitanya mahaprabhu chaitanya mahaprabhu he is krishna himself he is not an avatar he is not an incarnation okay chaitanya mahaprabhu is not incarnation of krishna he is krishna himself now on the day of ratha yatra we can see there are uh, seven kirtan mandalis seven groups of uh, groups who do uh, kirtan you know so uh, in each kirtan mandali lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is personally dancing so now here we can see that lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is expanding himself in seven forms so in all the seven groups you know literally every group they see like oh jagannath is in my group only yeah? oh he is in my group only yeah? they have to feel like this so each uh, kirtan mandali he is headed by one a kirtan leader so i'd like to mention uh, everybody's name if you want you can make a note of that so the first kirtan mandali was headed by advaita acharya okay and advaita acharya who is he he is a combination of vishnu and shiva all right and the second kirtan mandali was headed by uh, nityananda prabhu who is balram all right and the third uh, kirtan mandali the third group you know, who are doing kirtan you know is been headed by uh, haridas thakur right and uh, the fourth kirtan mandali was headed by uh, vakreshwar pandit okay now haridas thakur uh, he is brahma ji all right and uh, vakreshwar pandit is a uh, gopi like if you go to mayapur you see there are astra sakis right so one of the saki is uh, you know vakreshwar pandit his name is tunga vidya okay and the fifth uh, kirtan mandali leader is shrivas pandit who is narayan who is narada muni all right and the sixth is raghav pandit he is also a gopi you know uh, and his name is uh, danchitha dhanish dhanishtha and the seventh group you know the kirtan mandali was headed by gadhadhar pandit who is radharani so i will just tell you the names you know if you want to make a note you can make a note uh, it is advaita acharya it is nityananda prabhu it is uh, haridas thakur it is uh, vakreshwar pandit it is shrivas pandit it is uh, raghav pandit and it is a uh, uh, gadhadhar pandit seven kirtan mandalis headed by one kirtan leader now the amazing part is that uh, in this group uh, you know everybody personally felt that chaitanya mahaprabhu is in my group only you know he is personally dancing in my group only and uh, in the seven group each group you know uh, kirtan mandali uh, we can see there are uh, uh, two mridanga players okay and we have four kartal players in each group you know we have two mridanga players four kartal players and two uh, uh, big kartal players two big kartal players you know and you can see there is a tumultuous sound vibration so in each group mandali you know uh, when devotees were and we can see one thing because lord is dancing in each group you know now now in each group there are like more than 50 60 100 people you know so mahaprabhu is dancing in the middle of each group you know so everybody wants to make sure that you know they want to protect the lord and because lord is so still sometimes he falls on the ground sometimes falls on the devotees so now in this seven group there is one group which is headed by uh, shrivas pandit so in this group uh, 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 one of the person who was appointed uh, by uh, pratap rudra king pratap rudra was uh, uh, harichandan he is a minister you know and his job was to make sure that everything is safe you know he was alerted for the safety so in that group you know chaitanya mahaprabhu was so ecstatic he used to again again and fall on the floor sometimes to fall on shrivas pandit you know so then uh, this uh, uh, harichandan you know he thought why he is falling again and again on uh, this shrivas pandit 
So he, so he pushed Shivas Pandit. Said, "You come aside like this." And Shivas Pandit said, "Who is this person?" He just gave a side slap, you know, to this uh, Hari Chandan. The Hari Chandan chick was so red. So he went to complain to Pratap Rudra, who was the king of uh, Puri, saying that this one devotee by name, uh, you know, Shivas Pandit, he slapped me when I was trying to control the crowd, you know. And that time, <laughs> very amazing, you know. Actually, um. Uh, when the minister thought uh, I will teach a good lesson you know, by giving a complaint uh, to Shrivas Pandit about uh, what he did to me to Pratap Rudra Maharaj. But actually, something else happened. Pratap Rudra said, uh, Are you are so glorious. You got Krupa, you got mercy. The slap that you got from pure devotee, it's a special mercy on you. You know, I've been waiting for so many last couple of years. I have not got any such Krupa. Who's saying this? Pratap Rudra Maharaj is saying to this Harichandan. But you're all so lucky that you got a mercy. From this pure devotee, and later on, the same Harichandan, he becomes a very sweet, wonderful devotee of uh, Lord Jagannath. Okay, and uh, now uh, this was whatever I told till now was like more of like an information to know all these things. But now we will come to the actual uh, session of today's class. Okay, and uh, that is uh, let's dive into the sweet pastimes of Lord Jagannath. So before uh, you know, I get into this. Uh, you know, pastimes. If you are all uh, still willing, but yes, Prabhuji, we would like to hear more about Jagannath. Then you all can uh, 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 leave a chat on a, uh, on a chat saying that Jai Jagannath. Then I'll be very happy to tell all the pastimes of Jagannath. You can just type Jai Jagannath. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, that sounds really great. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. I see so many replies. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, there we go. So once, um, uh, once uh, Vibhishan, yeah, so once Vibhishan, uh, when he came to visit Jagannath Puri to visit to meet Lord, you know, one of the pujaris by name, uh, uh, by name, uh, uh, Partha Joshi Mahapatra, uh, Partha Joshi Mahapatra. Remember the names all. Uh, he was one of the head priest of uh, Jagannath temple, you know. And after winding up the seva, he was going home, you know. And there was one man who was following him, and he was like 15 feet height, you know, with a huge personality. And the pujari was a little uh, afraid. He turned back and asked, "Who are you?" And the person replied, "I am uh, Vibhishan. I am very happy the way you uh, serve uh, uh, the Lord." The pujari said, uh, "Hey, I want to tell to my friends, you know, that I met you. I want to convince them, yes, I met you. So how will I do that? You know, I don't have a phone, so I can take a selfie. This is a, like long back, right? So, <laughs> so then Vibhishan thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll give you my uh, armlet. You know, he takes one of the armlet, and it was like a very huge, like a wheel of a bullock cart. So even if you go to Jagannath Puri, you know, uh, you can see that armlet. So." So even great devatas, they also come to take darshan of the Lord, you know. So not only we take darshan, even great, great devatas, they come to take darshan of Lord Jagannath. See, in Jagannath Puri, uh, this is again an information, if somebody tries to steal any jewel of the Lord, they are found dead. In the next day, or maybe next couple of days. Why? Because it's very common. Lord Shiva is a Kshetra Palaka there, you know. He protects the Lord from all kind of uh, inauspicious activities, all right. So now, another pastime. This happened in 1746, uh, all right? So there's a one uh, sailor, he's uh, Captain uh, Beatles, OK? Uh, he was traveling to Pondicherry, you know, in a ship. And the ship got stuck in the Puri, you know, due to a heavy storm, you know? And, uh, and the sailor man, uh, he's, he's from, uh, basically from uh, France. He doesn't know what to do, but he was in Jagannath Puri. The people in Jagannath Puri, they told, hey, you pray to Lord Jagannath, he will do something for you. He's a supreme Lord. So he was not having faith in Lord Jagannath, but reluctantly, okay, I'll pray. He just reluctantly prayed, you know, you know, that please help me, you know. Uh, immediately, very soon, you know, the ship went through a smooth sailing and he went Pandichari safely. And when he returned back to Puri, you know, he uh, gifted a very huge bell, you know. Even now, if you go to Jagannath Puri, you can see this bell, you know, and it's mentioned in the name, you know, Captain uh, Beatles, right? So that's one thing. And uh, one of my favorite pastimes, which I keep saying most of the time, 
this one devotee by name uh, Dasya Bauri, you know, from uh, Bhaligram, you know, who had a very uh, intense love towards uh, Jagannath. This is a nice pastime actually of Dasya Bauri. He was a poor man, but he had a strong desire to offer something to Lord. So whatever money he had, he could purchase a coconut and he wanted to offer to the Lord, but he had no money to travel to Jagannath Puri. So one of his friends who was visiting Jagannath Puri for some kind of a business purpose, you know, he asked his friend uh, that uh, uh, do me a favor, you know, uh, said what, and I have no time for all these things. He said, please, uh, this is my request, you know, that he requested, and the friend said, I may, I may not have time, but Dasibari requested, you know, that uh, you just go near Gaurastamba, look at Sudarshan Chakra, and just offer this coconut, you know, and just say that you no, know, it is uh, sent by uh, Dasi Bauri. I said, okay, fine, he said. Then finally, you know, his friend agreed. So as he finishes his business, uh, he thought of his friend Dasi Bauri. So he went near Gaurastamba, looked at Sudarshan Chakra, and he started saying, you know, that one of your devotees by name Dasi Bauri, he wanted to offer a coconut. As he said, uh, Lord Jagannath, from the altar, he stretched his hand all the way to the Garuda Stamba, you know, Garuda Stamba, and he picked up the coconut. And this friend got amazed to see what a devotion to the Lord. Another pastime of Dasibori is uh, mangoes, because since now mango season is going on, you know, uh, he wanted to offer 40 mangoes, but uh, the pandas were saying, Give me, I will offer. They're like fighting, I will offer, I will offer. You thought, okay, Baba, I don't want to get into this mess. Let me only offer to you know, Lord Jagannath. So he uh, uh, he uh, he uh, started looking at Sudarshan Chakra, you know, Chakra, and uh, started offering them one by one. And front of all public, believe me or not, front of all public, you no, know, uh, the mangoes they got disappeared, you know. And then uh, Panda was saying, is he a devotee or a magician, you know? Everybody were in great surprise. And then they went inside the altar and they saw all the 40 mangoes, you know, is been eaten by, you know, Lord Jagannath. And that shell, the beach of that uh, mango is lying at the altar. Then the pandas concluded, yes. They concluded, yes, he is a great devotee of Lord Jagannath. And, and they were like very appreciative. And sometime yeah, after a few years, you know, like uh, when he had the son of Jagannath in the theater, when he was going back, you know, uh, you know his wife, she prepared uh, uh, some rice, you know, in a plate, and the rice was filled in the plate, and then she gave him spinach, and the, even the spinach was not so sabji, they say, you know, it was not so fresh. It was looking like a black. It was in the middle of that uh, rice, so a plate of a plate filled with rice, white rice. In the middle of that, there was like black spinach, you know. A sabji, you know, and when he saw that, uh, he thought that he thought it's a Jagannath's eyes, and he 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 went on ecstasy, you know. And then people from other people, other neighbors, they said, "Oh, he's a great duty of Lord Jagannath." So make sure next time you don't do like this. Whenever you want to offer, you give in two different plates, you know. And also in the last days of uh, Dasabori, you know, uh, he wanted to take darshan, but but the body was supporting. The Lord comes in his dream. He says, "Dasabori, do not worry," you know. Just next to your house, you know, there's a pond. You just go there and you will be able to take my darshan. So he went and took darshan. There the whole Atayatra was you know, displayed on the surface of the bond, pond, you know. So then uh, Dasibari was blessed. So this is the glory of a great devotee, right? That was Dasibari, right? Now another pastime of uh, Talicha Mahapatra. So all of us can make a note of this because I'm going to ask you end of the time, you know. Talicha Mahapatra. Uh, was also a pujari who who uh, who should decorate the Lord. So once he had a desire, uh, uh, you know, he 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 is a pujari. Okay, he should do decoration of the Lord. So while he was doing decoration, in his mind he was desiring like how Mother Eshoda she could decorate the Lord. You know, because uh, that time uh, Lord Krishna ha he was having curly years. You no, know? suddenly Lord for the great surprise, you know, he got he he saw the long hairs in, on Lord Jagannath. You know. And he was so happy, you know, to see that wow, I can I can you know do nice uh, decoration of the Lord with all kind of garlands all. But now in the Puri there was a system that the king would come every day to take darshan and receive prasad as a garland. But on that day, the king received a, a, a flower garland, but it had hair in that, you know. 
So the king became very furious, thinking that this garland was used by someone else. But now I'm getting it at the prasad. Then uh, uh, Lord doesn't have here, and he said, "But how come there's something fishy in this?" You know. So he told uh, Talicha Mahapatra, "There's something uh, fishy in this. Tell me the truth, or else you will be uh, punished." Now this Talicha Mahapatra was so scared. You know, even while sleeping, he was keeping poison. You know. That if what will happen if this tomorrow there's no here, you know, then then the king will come and he will uh, he will kill me. He will he will uh, he will uh, he will not he will prison me. You know, he was very fearful. And Lord comes to him saying, Talicha, don't worry, I will take care. And next day, when king was coming in the procession, you know, to know what's going to happen, then actually when he took darshan of Lord in the Garud, in the uh, in the uh, Garbagudi, you know. You know, as he entered, actually he saw the Lord was having long, long hairs, you know, and then uh, he was very happy. But he wanted to know whether if is the true is this virginal hair or duplicate hair. So he went one step ahead. Who this king? And he plucked one of the hair of Lord. Immediately the blood was oozing, you know. Seeing that, you know, he got fainted. He said, "I'm so sorry. I apologize. Uh, I was not knowing that, you know, that your devotee is such a pure and you are responding, you reciprocating so much with him." He felt very offended, and later on, this priest was given given a lot of respect, and uh, this shows that how you know every panda is so dear to Lord Jagannath Swami. Jagannath Swami ki jai. Now another another information type. You know, uh, there are a lot of pastimes which has been written in a palm leaf called uh, Madala Panchika. What is called Madala Panchika? You know, so Lord has a very mysterious ways to know whether Lord has accepted the boga or not. But the devotees, when the puja is, when they do archman, uh, when uh, he puts water on the palm, he could able to see the reflection of the Lord on the water. Otherwise, Lord has not accepted. It happened once, you know, he never accepted the boga. So what happened? They, the whole boga was buried in the ground, and they cleaned the whole temple. Then again, once again, they started over. So in the Madala Panchika, there is also mentioned uh, that even if any animal enters in temple. Like dog, it's very inauspicious. But one time, what happened? Uh, one animal entered. You know, once a uh, one uh, cat meow entered. You know, and it went and it sat on the shoulder of Balramji. And if that happens, you know, it's a very big thing because they stop everything. It's like a complete uh, lockdown, I would say. You know, no more arati, no more bhoga offering. You know, and uh, what they have to do is they have to clean the whole temple altar, detach everything. But from one particular river, which is 40 kilometers away from the temple, so this happened once. You know, unfortunately, you know, when uh, this happened, uh, the pujaris all went to fetch water from the river, but there was no water. <laughs> it was like kind of a summer season, I would say. You know, because all the water was drained out. You know, and there was no water, and even the government was interfering. That you have to do something because the seva should go on. You know. People are coming to take darshan, but you have stopped everything. He said, "Not possible." Puja is like very adamant. We cannot do any puja, nothing, because you know it is impossible. They went to strike for a couple of days, weeks, you know, and then uh, we know many families, you know, in Jagannath Puri, they depend on Jagannath Prasad, you know. So it became a big mess there. At that time, you know, Lord was so kind, you know. So to solve this issue, you know, Lord Jagannath being very kind, he showered a heavy rain, though it was not a season, you know. And later on, the pujaris they filled the water from that uh, river and they cleaned, they sanctified the whole temple, you know. And again, they started, you know, uh, uh, doing normal services like worshiping, boga offering, arati. So in Puri, there is no fixed system. What? There is no fixed system. Uh, I would say uh, neither it is a tantric system nor neither it is a, a, a pancharatrika system. It is a panta system. Whatever panda says. That's going to happen. So whatever pandas do, Lord accept them because due to the love of the Lord. We know the story of uh, Ramanujacharya, right? You know, I'm just looking at the time also. <laughs> Ramanujacharya, you know? uh, he, he wanted to worship the Lord through a Pancharatrika system. But what happened? You know, what happened? The pandas, you know, started chastising Lord. Oh, Kaliya, you know, you do like this all the time. You know, even when Mother Eshoda, you know, she loved you so much. But when Akrura came uh, from um, uh, Mathura to Vrindavan, you left us. And even gopis, they loved you so much, you left them. Even Radharani, you left them. 
that because you got a better people like Ramanuja to worship you, you are trying to betray us. This is not good. Kaliya, you are Kaliya, you know, you are like black heart, hearted person. You're like chastising, you know, and uh, very disappointed. But Lord uh, says, you uh, know, uh, uh, don't worry. Lord was consoling the pandas. Don't worry. Uh, I will uh, protect you. Then what happened? <laughs> Lord, you know, that same day night, you know, he kicked off the Ramanujitarya from that place, Puri, to a place called uh, uh, Kurmat Shetra. You know, he, with his bed, everything, he got shifted the last night and he was moved to Kurmat Shetra. And you can see how Lord reciprocates so beautifully. <laughs> Okay, uh, because we have less time, I'm just trying to make it a little fast. I'll not take much much more time. I'll just take another few minutes. So we have uh, this uh, very beautiful pastime. I'm sure most of you have been to Jagannath Puri. Okay, how many of you have not been to Jagannath Puri? Say yes or no. In the chat box, yes or no. How many of you have not been? Yes, okay. Some are saying no, yes, okay. Okay. Okay, so here to know so that you know our, uh, our devotees can organize a nice yatra for Jagannath Puri. In Jagannath Puri, there's uh, uh, one uh, called Khan Port Hanuman. What? Uh, no? uh, Khan Port Hanuman, you know. The Pujaris would tell the Lord that there is so much of noise coming from ocean, you know, Samudra, that we are unable to hear the mantras or prayers that we recite to you, Lord. Please do something. So Lord requested Hanuman to fix this issue. And when Hanuman, uh, uh, when Hanuman comes to visit the temple, you know, people say, so who's a huge person? Oh, it was Hanuman. Okay, okay, okay. And then um, uh, the Pujari started explaining to Hanuman, so this is the problem you're facing, you know, very little disturbed. So we're not, we're not able to hear anything, what our mantras, praise, we're chanting, you know, we're not able to hear because of heavy noise coming from the ocean. Hanuman said, from today, from now onwards, you will not hear any sound. You will not hear any sound because I will digest all the sound noise coming from ocean. So till date, till today, we can see, we can witness that when you go to temple, there is no sound. There's no noise of ocean coming in the temple, temple premises when pujaris come to worship or offer boga or chant praise or mantras. So for the remembrance of this, you know, uh, they have this Hanuman deity at the temple courtyard, you know. Okay, there's another temple uh, uh, called Bedi Hanuman, okay, where Hanumanji is shackled or, or tied with a ropes chain, I would say. It's a very beautiful pastime. Uh, once uh, the Pujari uh, complains to Lord that uh, the water from the seashore, you know, the ocean, Samudra, water comes to the temple so often because of which the whole temple is flooded with the ocean water. And there is... And it's creating a lot of inconvenience to all pujaris, temple management, so many other problems are because of this. So please do something, my lord. Please do something, you know. Please do something. So, um, so to stop this, Lord said, "Okay, I will uh, once again inform uh, Hanuman." After that, there was no flood in the temple. But sometimes <laughs> the flood used to come. I mean to say, uh, the ocean is to cross its limits due to the, which it's flooded by temple, you know, in the, in the temple. So the pujaris uh, approached Hanuman. But there was no Hanuman. The next day, when they again wanted to approach Hanuman, they started telling, "Hey, where were you yesterday? You were not there because of you. Because you were not there, the, there was a flood in the temple, you know." And um, Hanumanji was telling him, "Actually, you know what? Actually, I went to Ayodhya. Why? Because in Puri, na, the prasadam is very uh, sattvic. It's not so spicy. So, so to get some higher taste, you know, <laughs> I went to Ayodhya." And Pujari said, oh my God, it's a big risk if you do like this, you know. So later some uh, some say it, it Lord has tied, Lord, Lord has tied the Hanuman or something Pujaris have tied the Hanuman, you know, in the rope. So so even now if you see, you know, that uh, uh, Hanuman has been tied with the chain ropes, you know, so that you should never leave Puri. And because of that, you know, temple, you know, because of that, even now the temple is not flooded with the ocean water. So two things. Bedi Hanuman and Khan Port Hanuman. You know, I remember when I was a small child, you know, when I went to Jagannath Puri, you know. So when I went to Khan Port Hanuman, I was doing some prayers. The Buddha said, You don't have to offer any prayers. You will not be able to listen. You just do Namaste, give some Dakshin and go. He said, Why? Because his ears are burnt because he, 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 he digests all the sound coming from the ocean. So you cannot hear. You just give some Dakshina, 
you do namaste and go <laughs> so this was all i understood okay okay once there was a great king okay very interesting uh, who was also a great devotee of lord jagannath but there was a custom that every every day in the morning uh, uh, the minister would uh, offer jagannath uh, mahaprasad to the king wonder what happened the king was so immersed in playing you know some games mystically now he took prasad from the left hand you know he was playing left hand he took and he just ate you know generally we take prasadam in the right hand right so this king uh, he was so much engrossed in some games no in left hand he took prasad and he just honored it then later he understood oh my god i made a big offense to jagannath you know by taking prasad in the left hand so how many of you take prasad in the left hand you know of course if you are lefty that's a different thing but otherwise it is a culture even while uh, you know eating prasadam you know you should eat only in the right hand you should not put both the hands and eat you know use only one hand you know it's a etiquette actually so here we can see you know this king because he uh, used his left hand uh, and he honored prasadam he felt himself then you know, i made a big offense to jagannath you know so to repent you know what mystic he did he uh, told his ministers You know that whenever I go to sleep, you know I see one big hand coming towards me, so I'm very afraid. So the minister told, "Don't worry, you know uh, I'll have a solution. Do one thing: you sleep in my uh, house today, I'll, and I will sleep in your house, in in your palace." And then he also saw, you know, that there was a hand coming close. So what this minister did, he took a sword, he cut off the hand, you know. And next day morning, when he came to meet her, the king said. king i have finally cut the hand of that uh, ghost whoever it is you know then he saw that uh, the king had missed one one of his left hand it was missing he said uh, oh that is your hand you know he said yeah i only did this it was my hand only because actually i offended the lord so i only did this drama thank you i had no guts to cut my hand but you very nicely did the seva i'm very happy but no this uh, this is not right you know but later on what happened he took that uh, hand and they buried one in one place you know uh, some garden and after some time there was one uh, jagannath vallabh garden okay uh, from there there was one plant started coming a tree started coming you know and from there a very uh, fragrant leaves was coming you know and that leaf they used to offer to jagannath every day every day you know and uh, after some time you know the king wanted to know uh that yeah this leaf is very uh, very fragrant and the name of the leaf is called uh, dayanaka leaf or it's called dayanaka leaf you know and the garden was called jagannath vallab garden you know and then uh, he asked the ministers which which leaf is this they couldn't tell they were not knowing so what he said uh, what he did is you know okay from today onwards we will not offer this leaf to jagannath because we do not know which uh, which uh, leaf is this you know but lord jagannath came in the night and he stole that whole tree you know and next morning we see there is no leaf nothing you know and then uh, lord comes in the dream of uh, the king you know he said this leaf is very special because this leaf is coming from uh, one of my devotee's uh, hand you know then later on oh that devotee's hand it's my hand only now my left hand yeah so from your left hand this tree is growing and uh, the leaf is called dayanaka leaf you know and it is even today if you see once in a year you know uh, they do a, they take lord jagannath in the palanquin to that place and jagannath uh, tries to steal that uh, leaves from that uh, uh, jagannath vallabh garden you know such an amazing pastime right so lord is very very amazing you know such a nice festival and of course uh, because i'm still looking at the time this will be the last fast time of the day and please pay attention okay i will not take much time there's so much to speak you know once uh, a puri king uh, has been offered a uh, uh, in marriage padmavati and who she was she was the daughter of king kanchi you know daughter king of kanchi you know and uh, we generally know the custom that you know, the girl's family will meet the boy's family and similarly the boy's family will meet the girl's family so on one of the occasion you know to fix the marriage the girl's family they want to meet the boy's family you know and that time uh, Uh, uh the boy who was going to get married he was his name was purushottam dev and he was a king actually you know and it was the yatra day you know and they saw king purushottam dev was sweeping the road 
in front of jagannath on ratha yatra day and the girl's family ministers that how come you know uh, um, uh, in our marriage you know the boy is behaving like a shudra you know is sweeping the lord i think the marriage should be cancelled but the boys family were trying to convince that are we are all servant of the lord lord is jagannath lord of universe supreme lord of jagannath finally uh, uh, you know as the kshatriyas you know what they do they come up with the battle fight and then they come to the conclusion so yes uh, there was a fight with the kanchi king and uh, puri king you know there was a fight and later on we can see you know uh, in the battle if the king of kanchi wins you know then uh, they should accept that jagannath is a uh, inferior to ganpati because uh, in kanchi you know they they considered ganpati is a supreme lord you know but uh, if the king of puri wins that is uh, you know purushottam dev then the ganpati will be kept in the back side of jagannath rath so both are done then they said so when the day uh, was fixed for a war we could see that the soldiers of king puri they had no experience you know the, the kings of the, the puri king they had no experience of fighting with swords why because most of the time they have the kapal in their hands and they keep singing bhajans saying jai jagannath jagannath swami nayana patagami you know so so what happened in the first round of the war you know the king of puri they got defeated so badly the king of puri was feeling very ashamed not because he used to lose the war but uh, he felt you know uh, he how he can keep ganpati in front of lord jagannath and the king was crying that it will bring a insult to jagannath because i am connected to you please lord save me bring grace to win this war please lord this is a, there is a nice uh, bhajan sang by uh, turdas i'm sure it says um, tum meri rakho laaja hari tum meri rakho laaja hari tum meri rakho laaja hari tum jante sab antaryami karne kachu na kare actually uh, i'll tell you the meaning of this you know uh, my lord please protect my honor who saying this um uh sudas is explaining this song my lord please protect my honor you know everything you are dwelling in heart you know everything i do not i, I have not done any uh, good deeds in my life i am not asking for any business deal help i know your nature is to protect so please protect my lord you know pursutam dev is asking please protect so he was intensely praying so now jagannath comes in the dream tells him do not worry i will protect you so the next day krishna balram eh, they come on the horse right one was black one was white marching towards the war on on the way uh, they also there was a state border border you know where one lady was selling a uh, buttermilk you know and her name was manika what was her name manika okay so this two uh, soldiers stopped the horse and asked for some buttermilk both drank all the buttermilk curd everything you know when the lady asked paisa do give me money you know the two soldiers say, say uh, we are they say oh, jagannath baladev uh, you know generally they people uh, uh, they don't ask money they offer something with love you know but the first time i'm asking that somebody is asking money you know and uh, we don't have money he said but the lady demanded you know no no we need something you know you cannot fool this poor lady then baladev become little angry you know but jagannath who is krishna you know he pacified both and said uh, to the lady yeah, uh, manika that we are the soldiers of king purushottam dev uh, from puri is coming behind us with the whole army we just tell them that uh, you know that they will pay you you know but the lady asked what is the proof then the jagannath the two soldiers jagannath and uh, baladev you know krishna and balram soldiers they took one of the mala from them and they gave it to this lady and they also wrote a letter to the king saying that my dear purushottam dev we have drunk this buttermilk from this lady please pay them to the needful so they handed over the letter to the lady manika and they left and when krishna balram you know who's jagannath and uh, baladev you know when they reached the war they were only two but they defeated the entire army of kanchi in just few seconds few minutes you know and the king of kanchi surrendered to purushottam dev and later we can see ganpati deity uh, the ganpati vigraha is still now you can see it's kept behind the rath it also you can also see a ganpati vigraha in the temple also 
but it is kept behind the earth. And also Padmavati later she gets married to Purushottam Dev, the king of Puri. So when the lady Manika meets Purushottam Dev, she explained the whole story how they came and drank all the buttermilk and handed over the butter, you know. Uh, mm, uh, but uh, yeah, how they came, they drank all the buttermilk and handed over the butter, uh, handed over the letter to the king, you know. The king was so happy, he said to, to the lady Manika, I will not just pay buttermilk, but also wherever your eyes reaches, that will be your entire village, I'll give it to you. Because you know, these two people who they are, they are Lord themselves, Jagannath and Baladev, you know. So we can see now that place is called as uh, Manika Patnam, you know. So he was saying, you're so fortunate that you got darshan of Lord Haribol, you know. That's the beauty of this. Now, uh, in a Vamana Purana, it is mentioned that a Lord comes out from his altar, from his house, to give darshan to all of us, you know. So it is a nice statement. It's called Rathecha Vamanam Dristva Punar Janma Na Vidyate. Simply by uh, seeing Lord Jagannath on the chariot, uh, one attends liberation. So recently we had a celebrated Snan Yatra, right? Snan Yatra is the birthday of Lord Jagannath. And you can see in that day, Lord Jagannath is dressed in a in a Gajavesh, right? So in a Ganesh, right? So it, it is said that after 15 years, so 15 days, eh, after Snanitra, for 15 years, 15 days, Lord falls sick. Now also is sick, you know, uh, because he's bathed in a very cool water that in the hot season, due to which you know he he, he catch flu or maybe in the fever. So no darshan. For 15 days, you know, and uh, this period is called uh, uh, Anavasa. You know, actually, people who want to take darshan of Jagannath, there's no darshan. But what people do, they go to Alarnath at this time because it is said that you know, uh, uh, Lord Jagannath is now in Alarnath. Even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself, you know, who goes there, you know, and he wants to take darshan of Lord. And there's one big stone slab, you know. Their Lord uh, was taking the son of you know uh, Alarnath, and he slept on that on that uh, what do you say stone you know and the stone got melted. Even now we can see the uh, Lord uh, uh, body print there you know and uh, yeah actually if you go to Alarnath you know you can see there's a Vigra Vishnu 400 form. Actually uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur says that this Vishnu is Krishna of Vrindavan. So Lord Jagannath is in the mood of a separation, I would say, you know, because he is in separation of Srimati Radharani while living in Vrindavan and remembering Radharani in Vrindavan too much. Due to the intense separation, he has taken the form of Lord Jagannath. And last but not the least, therefore, Nartam Das Thakur says uh, that Madhava Titi Bhakti Janani. Madhava means Krishna, Jagannath, you know, and, uh, and Titi means day of Krishna. So special days like Janmashtami, Ratayatra, they are the mother of devotion. Bhakti means Bhakti Janani. Janani means uh, mother. Bhakti means devotion. So all these festivals that we celebrate, you know, that is a connection towards Krishna. It's a mother of devotion. So by uh, celebrating such festivals, you know, we grow in our devotion, you know, and the devotional creeper in our heart is nourished just by hearing taking and reading about it. It's actually participating in the festival. So you're all so, so fortunate that you're all, you know, uh, you know, being a part of this, uh, you know, uh, Shravanam hearing process, you know, that's the first step in Bhakti. So I think I have, uh, I have a uh, cross my limit. So yes, thank you so much. If you have any questions, you know, please shoot me and I'll be very happy to uh, answer them. And uh, I hope uh, you all uh, enjoyed the nectarian, uh, you know, uh, uh, pastimes of Lord Jagannath. Actually, there is so much to say, you know, but because of time, you know, slab, you know, we have to maintain the, you know, respect for that, you know, person who had given us the slot, you know, one hour. So, yeah. Jai Jagannath. Jagannath Swami Nayana Patagami. Hare Krishna. So does anybody has any questions, you can shoot me or you can ask me whatever you wanted to know. Hare Krishna. I'm sure all of you uh, 
uh, was able to hear my voice clear enough and uh, 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 which pastime you like the most you can also share okay Hare Krishna So I would request uh, uh, the participants who want to ask any questions uh, can raise their hand and we can completely allow them or they can just write in the text format. Yes, Prabhupada, already we have uh, questions in the... Yeah, actually, uh, I, I saw one of the, yeah, one of the questions uh, which I see here is that, uh, okay, it's about uh, taking the son of the Lord. Actually, it in, in the Vaman Purana, it is mentioned that Lord comes out to give darshan. You know, there's a nice verse. It says, Rathecha Vamanam Dristve Punar Janmana Vidyate. Simply by seeing Lord Jagannath on the chariot, one attains liberation. So, uh, how many of you till now have not taken darshan of Jagannath? Say yes or no. I have taken darshan. That means that's good. Yeah, in Puri temple. Yes, in, in Puri. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. That was the first question. Yes, but what's the next question? So probably there is another question in the text format only. Is that visible to you? Yeah, uh, it's visible, but it's getting disappeared. You can ask me the question. Okay, the question is raised by Jigisha Das. Okay. He says that Hare Krishna Prabhu, who just said that the entrance of animals are meant to be inauspicious. Mm -hmm. But when I visited Puri last year during the period of 15 days, mm -hmm. uh, of his ill period, I saw many cats there. Many? That he says cats. Where? Where in the temple or in outside the temple? In the temple, he says. Actually, if Jigisha is present, she can uh, just uh, clear her question. Yeah. Actually, when the temple is closed, I think, uh, you know, nobody she enters. She says, in front of the altar, she says. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, uh, uh, see, Madale uh, Panchika, I told it, it's a kind of uh, uh, evidence, you know, it's a, they write everything in that palm leaf, all right? So it is mentioned, it's very inauspicious, all right? And uh, especially when uh, temple is closed, because now Lord, Lord is sick. So nobody can take the son of the Lord. So that way nobody can. Uh, uh, and I, I, I don't know how authentic the question is. Whether uh, you know whether this uh, whoever said the question, they went in front of the Lord and they saw or they saw it from a WhatsApp message. I am not sure about it. Let us not uh, take it uh, seriously on WhatsApp messages. You, know, you personally uh, tell me whether did you went and uh, saw some cats and dogs. Then that then we can answer it. But otherwise, uh, you know. Uh, it's not like that. And even I, as I said to you, if such thing happens, you know, they have to clean the whole temple. And for that, they have to get the water from that particular river, which is 40 kilometers away from that temple, you know. And uh, it happened once, only once till date. Till now, it happened only once, where there was no water at that time, you know. And then Lord Jagannath brought heavy rain, you know. That's how, you know, they could do the needful. Yes. Yeah, what's the next question? Actually, asking questions then of intelligence. I'm very happy to see a lot of intelligent people are asking me questions. Please do ask. Prabhuji, we have another question where yeah. Sri Jena, she asked that Hare Krishna Prabhuji, why is Lord Jagannath's face is so unique than other details? Other details, sir. Yeah, so I just want to know uh, what time did you uh, join the class, you know? Because uh, in the first half, the first beginning, I was explaining why the Lord Jagannath is so big, unique, you know. Mm. So I would request it, it will be better if they unmute themselves and ask the questions directly instead of writing it. Yeah. That's why it is very important to know uh, when the class begins, if you are all there on time, then uh, you will really take the advantage of the class because many of the pastimes we shared was in the beginning of the class, especially you know the th four 
uh, people who actually requested Lord Jagannath to come. One was Parvati, one was Narada Muni, and one was Brahmaji, and one was, any guess? Okay. Indraduna Maharaj. Yeah, okay. exactly right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, now I'll ask you a question. What are the three boons that uh, Indraduna Maharaj asked the Lord? Can someone share? Okay, I don't know the I don't know the river's name of that. Uh, thing. Yeah, good. Okay, I got one answer. He will not have. He doesn't want to have a son. Okay, then what was the second one? He has three. He more. should be always eating, and he should uh, not sleep. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. True. Hari bol. Jai. Thank you. Okay. So we, there's one last question that yep. Pransudas writes, Hare Krishna Prabhuji, how do we know that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Lord Krishna himself? He asks. Hari Bol. That's a very beautiful question. Now, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is Krishna himself. He is not an incarnation, first thing. As I told you, if he would have attended the class on time, you would have got the answer because uh, as I was telling you, there were seven Kirtan Mandalis, right? And Lord expanded himself in all the seven groups, you know, and every individual group, they felt that, no, oh, Lord is in my group. Oh, he's in only my group. Everybody felt that, actually, you know. Now, uh, an ordinary person, he cannot expand, you know, but here Lord Jagannath is expanding in seven groups himself and each group they felt oh lord is only in my group oh he's only in my group All right so like we see in brahma is saying ishwara parama krishna sachidananda vigraha anadir adir govinda sarva karana karanam he says you know so chaitanya mahaprabhu you know he wants to experience the bliss of uh, actually chaitanya mahaprabhu is a combination of radharani and uh, krishna so we can see in Jagannath Puri, uh, I can tell you in this way, you know, that uh, Lord Jagannath is a hero and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a heroine, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I would say in that way. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to experience the bliss of Radharani, you know, and Jagannath is, is, uh, is in a separation mood actually. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is Krishna himself. I'm sure, you know, we, remember, we know this past time when Jagai and Madai, you know, they wanted to, you know, uh, uh, when uh, when uh, when they wanted to throw stone on Nityananda, you know, that time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became very upset. He took his suggestion, you know. Then Lord Nityananda said, you know, my Lord, you have came here not to take the weapon, but to give them mercy and you know, bliss. So then, because of that, you know, Mahaprabhu was very happy. So Mahaprabhu, he is Krishna himself. He is not an incarnation, you know. That's why. Uh, he say Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is, is coming as a, a Chanda avatar, you know, like a hidden, hidden form. He doesn't want to tell. If somebody goes and says, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are Vishnu, you are Krishna, he will say, Vishnu, 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 he will say. All right? So he doesn't want, Lord has come as a devotee, as I was telling in the beginning of the class, you know, that how Lord comes, you know, for, uh, because of Nars not he, he came not because to kill Hiranyakashipu, he came because of the prayers of Prahlad Maharaj. Similarly, Advaita Acharya, you know, who permanently, you know, did a lot of tapasya prayers. He wanted to call Lord. That's it. Because of his prayers, you know, his call, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. You know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, if you see the, there are three books. One is Chaitanya Charitamrita, Chaitanya Bhagavad, Chaitanya Mangal. If you read all these books, you will have a clear understanding because Lord sometimes, you know, he gives darshan of Narsimha Avatar, you know. The different different avatars he gives so so this is a little very deeper you know uh, so best thing to understand is that you no know, that you have you have to make a nyatra to mayapur you know and they'll be completely convinced that yes chaitanya mahaprabhu is so blissful he has come as a devotee to show us how to do devotion towards krishna right when uh, 
uh, I'm sure because when you go to Jagannath Puri, also you see there's one uh, Lord, uh, you know, is showing uh, Dashan to uh, 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 to Shadbuj uh, Goranga Dashan is giving, you know, to uh, uh, he's like he, in one hand is having a flute, one hand is having Kamandalo, and one, one hand is having, uh, you know, what do you say? Uh, uh, what do you say? Bow and arrow, you know. He is showing this to Sarvama Bhattacharya, you know. So, Lord is very blissful, you know. Yes, any more questions? Uh, so, we are already late and uh, sorry to the participants. Uh, we can't take any more questions and I hope that people who ask the questions have got their answers from Prabhupada. Uh, it was a true honor that uh, we could have you on this part of Chariots of Devotion, Prabhuji. Thank you for your valuable inputs and such a beautiful Jagannath Katha. <laughs> and uh, now I request, in order to pay gratitude to you, uh, I request all the participants to unmute themselves and say Haribol to you. Haribol. Jagannath means Jagat Kanath. No, he is a he is a master of all universe. Jagat Kanath is not a lord of uh, Raukela, Varisa, or no, or from Bangalore. No, he is a lord of the whole creation. You know, supreme lord. Okay, so one last question I want to know, you know, this if, if you all can answer this, I'll be very happy. Can someone uh, explain me or put in the chat, what is the lifespan of Brahmaji? It's a technical question, but I had explained in very... 6,000 years. 36,000 kalpas. And then one kalpa... Yes, 36,000 kalpas. Something, yes. <laughs> Good. And Krishna appears in when? In one of the days of... One day Brahma. Yes. One day, of Brahma. One day of Brahma. I had a rapt attention in my class. Thank you so much. I'm very happy. Jagannath Swami ki jai, jai Jagannath. Hari Bol. Hare Krishna. Thank you Hare once Krishna again Bhagavan. for giving this opportunity. Jagannath.